Hello boys and girls, Ice Cream Gecko here, and today I'm coming to you with another ice cream review. Number three of the count. And this is for the Magnum Double Raspberry. So the first introduction that I had with the Magnum Double Ras Double Range, <laughs> however it's called, well, it was when I was a child back in Italy, in uh, on our summer vacation, and it was quite hot, and I think the shop that sold them was uh, a bit low on power, or they just didn't freeze them enough. But uh, basically, it doesn't matter how quickly I ate it. Half a minute in, that whole outer shell would just slide downwards and uh, create a mass of molten chocolate and uh, fudge slash caramel on my hands that hasn't been known to man up to that point. So uh, we didn't really went on a good foot since then, but I tried some of these two, like the, I think the, the coconut one, I tried this one as the coconut version, and it was all right. So I thought to myself, well, let's give this a try then. What else is there to try in February when it's cold? It's like minus seven at the moment. So uh, I think we have to underline that with some more ice cream. So this is today the Magnum Double Raspberry. Let's get our review sheet here. Have I said it before? I don't know. Review number three. And I bought it for two euros in that one shop. And uh, the packaging was quite nice, so I picked it up. I always like that kind of golden stuff that they put on the packaging. Just enjoy that. I think it looks looks neat. And that kind of furry stuff, I don't know what to think of that, but uh, that's what they do nowadays. Let's give you a quick look at the nutrition table. Does it focus? I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, does it or not? I've turned all the focus on. I think it does now. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You've seen it. It has got 326 kilocalories on 100 grams and uh, per serving that would be 238 per ice cream. And we've got the ingredients list. Is there any English stuff on there? No, there isn't. Maybe you can read one of the languages that are printed on here. So, uh, if not, I'm not going to translate all of this. This would take us ages. Packaging. Okay. I won't write down anything right now. Let's take a look inside first. Yeah, because the inside of these magnums is fucking gold. Look at this. <laughs> I fucking love this. I've seen these ones here before, like these these doubles in this kind of I don't know carton, what's it called, cardboard boxes. Um, I guess they ditched that, but like golden lining on the inside of the packaging, like that's, that's cool. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's get a bit of utensils here again. Place it right in the middle and uh, give this a two out of three. I like it. First impression of the thing itself. Well, it does look like it has a, it has had a troublesome childhood. It's kind of deformed. You can see that. The, oh, the autofocus is hunting. Oh no 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 no, not good. This is not good. But it's got the Magnum branding right here. Overall. Did they actually ditch the whole M thing here? They used to put like M emblems, the Magnum emblem, right at those points. Can't stop touching it. <laughs> it's so smooth. <laughs> oh, whatever. <sighs> but first impression... It's look, it does look nice, but not particularly nice. And uh, it's kind of deformed, so have to give it a one. Doesn't look all too great. But let's try it. Give it a bite. See if, uh, see if it uh, 
is as brittle as it looks. Well, it does taste of raspberry, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Here you can see the pinkish ice cream, a bit of uh, raspberry juice in between the different layers. It does look nice, I have to say. It does look very nice. Consistency of the ice cream itself uh, seems to be good as well, like regular Magnum stuff, nothing nothing different or fancy or anything about this. But let's see if we can uh, dissect this a little bit. Take a look at uh, the amount and the taste of the stuff that call makes it, you know, being called raspberry. That's it. I think it's... I think I read it somewhere on the, on the packaging that it's actually coloured with red beets. I know about that. Let's give this a try on its own. Yeah. It does taste like... Well, like raspberry jelly. A little bit. Not as strong in flavour. But it does taste a little bit like it. Yes. It's not too strong. Ice cream, let's taste that on its own. Oh, come on. This tastes some... Do you know that kind of yogurt ice creams that there are? Where they've got like different liners and, and streaks here inside of the ice cream with that kind of juicy stuff. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like some yogurt ice cream. Not really my taste in particular, but it does taste of raspberry. Uh, so I guess it's okay to make it that way. You can also see that the outer shell of the thing is of a different colour than the inner one. So on the inside we have... let's give it a try. And it does taste darker as well. Darker chocolate on the inside than there is on the outside. So, consistency. I mean, you heard this, this outer shell and everything breaking and, and such. It sounded quite pleasing. And um, the ice cream itself is just your standard magnum ice cream consistency though, there's nothing really to complain about. It's good. It's common and usual and good and familiar, so that's great. Consistency and stuff of the kind of sauce, the raspberry sauce, okay as well. It doesn't seem to be too runny. Maybe they have improved on that since uh, the last time I tried the double caramel <laughs> back in Italy when I was like 10 or 7, maybe 6, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. But uh, I think, yeah, I like the consistency, I like it a lot. This is what I'd call almost perfect. Give this a 4 out of 4 in that. Colour, well, well, I think actually the colour of the raspberry stuff, it's, it's a bit too intense. Like, it's clear that this stuff is dyed in some way. So, um, I don't really like it in that particular reason, but to, to kind of resemble what raspberries look like is kind of difficult without using any additional colourings. And if it's just red beet juice or extract or something, that's fine. Colour of the chocolate on the outside is pleasing. Like, it's familiar and pleasing. On the inside, it does give a nice contrast. 
and with you know that kind of pinkish ice cream in the middle it uh, well it's perfect really I like it I like this a lot there's nothing to complain about for fuck's sake <sighs> I don't want to give four points again have to kind of right taste though okay the actual sauce doesn't taste too much of anything to be honest oh wait a second can I switch between the outer focus on the run no I can't well that's unfortunate I have to change it to like this multi-field thing because it now just focuses in the middle and uh, I don't know where to put things to have them centered in the video, you know, I always have to look up to check. So uh, that's kind of awkward. I have to change that, you know, next time. But taste-wise, uh, like I said, the sauce doesn't taste really of that much. It, may, it tastes kind of raspberry, but uh, also a bit indistinguishably like other things. I can't really bind that. You know, it's not the source of the main flavor, I mean, which would be kind of odd because it's just making, like, I don't know, 5% of the whole ice cream, maybe even less. So, uh, yeah, that would be awkward. Outer shell tastes nice, though. The stuff on the inside, it's it's like those yogurt ice creams. I do not like it too much because I think it's, it's it, they, it seems like they don't really know where to go or where to head, in which direction to move. So they kind of decide of an indecisive in-between compromise and uh, mm, eh, I'm not really a big fan of that but overall I think this is again a 4 but now 4 out of 5 so it's not that bad theme realization is great I have to say that it's really good so that's a 4 I and mean, this is just you're too good. Magnum double raspberry, you're too good. You're making me look like a fool. Value for money, two bucks. It, uh, I think that's okay. Maybe could have been cheaper. A bit more expensive, not really. Like, not really. They should give you a cardboard box for that price then. But, uh, this would be a two out of three, I think. Bonus points. Are there because the double kind of theme you know that has been around for quite a while now so it isn't really something particularly special but I think it goes together well and uh, mm, it's still kind of unique to this kind of branding and to this series of ice creams in these flavors so we give not many but we give one one out of three bonus points bonus Paints. Bit. So let's try this one again. Let's try this one while I calculate how many points we have achieved. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 22 points divided by 30 times 10. This is a 7.33 and uh, it actually is. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. I'm not making up any numbers. That's what it is. Let's show you the review sheet. Top information and the actual table of points. So uh, 7.33 is quite all right. I mean, it's not the best that could be achieved. It's not surprises us in any way. It has been advertised, so it doesn't have the uh, moment of surprise either in terms of how great it is and no one expected it. It's been around for quite a while, actually, at this point. But I think 7.33, um, keeping in mind that this kind of rating system that I introduced is a bit harsher than like 99% of the rest on YouTube. <laughs> I 
therefore I think 7.33 is, is quite okay. Let me know if you have had this before and what you think about it and if you would have rated certain points and topics differently. Or if you thought that I talk just total crap and uh, don't even deserve to uh, be able to have the freedom to buy this this um, exquisite product. <laughs> Whatever. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Um, subscribe for more, I guess. I mean, I can't ride on the motorcycle at the moment, so that's why there aren't too many motorcycle videos coming. It's like minus seven degrees. I've been outside at the uh, garage, I mean, half an hour ago, and the actual, like, lock, the padlock that we've got on there, I, you know, opened it, put it onto the table next to the door, and uh, it got stuck on my fingers. That's how cold it is. It is not pleasant, and when I'm on the motorcycle and the tires get to some kind of temperature, all it does in the corners is just melting that bit of ice that's underneath there and basically makes me slide all over the place. And I don't want to wreck the bike and I don't want to die, that's why. Okay, I'm stretching this unnecessarily. See you next time.